Hello traders, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and uh, it's time for our weekly recap video. In this video I would like to check uh, the plan I shared with you throughout last week. Uh, also we are going to check if we had any live signals posted on it, how they developed, how the whole plan developed and I'll do some uh, future predictions for the price movement of the pair. Today we are going to look at the plan I shared with you uh, for the uh, <clears throat> US dollar uh, Chinese Yuan and currently what you see on the screens is the plan itself posted on TradingView. Um, first of all let's say a few things about the plan itself. Uh, the idea was that uh, at this point here uh, the pair reached this very strong weekly resistance area uh, marked with this uh, red uh, rectangle. And as you can see, uh, the price was moving in an uptrend channel. Also here we had uh, a formation of lower highs and lower lows. So uh, all those things um, made me uh, feel like that it's time for a correction on this uh, pair after this very, very long uptrend here. And uh, I was going to look for sell opportunities. Uh, I was expecting for the price to reach back down here in this uh, green rectangle which is a weekly support area and also those two lines over here uh, represented a previous weekly top just in case the pair broke out of the weekly resistance area. I'm telling this because uh, <clears throat> this is a part of the future predictions of the price movement at the end of this video but let's continue with the plan and its development. As you can see, uh, we saw a break here of the uptrend channel and uh, my expectations were for the price to continue down from here. After that, we entered into a small consolidation here. This is the H4 chart. Uh, and after that, a new uh, explosive wave, wave up began, uh, which uh, currently uh, moved the pair to these uh, two red lines here or a previous weekly top. Now, I posted uh, one live signal on this pair, which uh, we are going to talk about now. This is the live chart. You can see uh, where uh, my entry was situated, right at the uh, close of this candle, when the price broke through this uh, trend channel. If we turn on the Ichimoku indicator, uh, we can see that shortly after, uh, we had the Ichimoku cloud and unfortunately the price failed to break through it uh, and it just exploded for a new wave up uh, reaching to our stop loss which was placed over here uh, way above this uh, previous stop here. So uh, and also as I said we had a take profit level all the way down here at the weekly support area. Unfortunately, this trade didn't work out as you can see. Uh, we lost around 60 pips of it. Uh, but uh, I continue monitoring this plan because uh, there are a few things I want to mention here and those are my future predictions. After this explosive wave, you can see uh, the price finally reached this area between 6.949 to 6.986. Uh, this area represents a previous weekly top, which I want to show you now. Here it is. And as you can see, um, before this top was formed, we had a very, very strong uptrend going for from 2014 all the way to 2016. So this was a two year uh, uptrend. And from that point, a downtrend began, which continued from 2016 all the way to 2018. So again, two years of a strong, strong downtrend. Now, as you can see for, so far from April till now, we have a very huge uptrend. There is like no red candles on the weekly time frame, only huge green bullish candles. 
and uh, even though we are in an uptrend uh, we still haven't seen a nice uh, correction and every market needs a correction it cannot just go up so my uh, expectations are for the pair to enter into a correction wave from this uh, previous top here so going back to the H4 we'll be looking for sell opportunities somewhere in this area here I'll draw it like that and uh, it's hard to predict where the price might go but if we go back to weekly uh, for sure uh, we can go back down to uh, this weekly re resistance uh, which is being broken uh, if the correction is a little bit stronger we can even go further down to somewhere around here or even down here so let's go back to the H4 so this is the spot where we actually entered before and the price uh, made a new wave up and I believe that we from this point if you go to M30 or H1 you can find a good spot to enter with a take profit somewhere in, uh, inside of the broken uh, weekly resistance or even further down here but I would recommend taking some of the profits uh, somewhere here at the beginning of the broken weekly resistance and then uh, leaving the rest to float if this is broken of course this is the previous stop uh, you can uh, re-enter with of course a smaller size and look for a take profit area inside somewhere here so that's all on this plan I'll continue monitoring I will update you with a live sign on our Telegram or, of course, on Twitter. Uh, I already shared a trading plan yesterday, a little bit more short term, and I updated you with a live sign that already produced 95.5 pips of profit just for one day. So, even though we lost here, we co uh, covered those 60 pips loss and we won 35.5 pips more. Uh, on Thursday, I will share with you another uh, short-term trading plan and hopefully we'll manage to squeeze out some profits there as well as on the plan uh, we just made the recap on. I wish you a profitable week.